Okay, well, if you remember, I collected a bunch of stuff off of a friend, and unfortunately, I ended up getting killed a couple days later, and lost it all, and then got killed again, and again, and again, and again, because people kept killing fresh spawns for some stupid reason. So, I now have this stuff. <laughs> And I found that in an industrial nearby, so, yeah, starting all over again. And I'm pretty sure all these buildings have already been gone through because all the doors are open. So, yeah, see, like this one? Probably not going to be much in here, and if there's anything in here, it's not probably going to be of any use. There's a three-story industrial just up ahead. Hopefully there's nobody camped out in it. Because that would be a nightmare if they were. <laughs> I don't know if that dark spot in the tower, the, the construction crane, is in player or not. I kinda wish I had a pair of binoculars or something that I could see longer distances. Because I'm pretty exposed, and if they have a scoped rifle, I'm dead. much on the outskirts of uh, Baranzino. Nope, oh, it was just a shadow apparently. Oh. <laughs> Did it just glitch through the fence? That's sort of a cheap way to get more inventory space. <laughs>
the zombies you're hearing, they're actually not in the building. Uh, they're under it. I'm hoping for a backpack or an axe or something. Hey, buddy. Just looking for a backpack, that's all I'm doing. There you go, take it. <laughs> oh, that guy wasn't, doesn't seem so bad. Oh. Taking this one instead. <laughs> okay, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go grab that uh, box from that other building. That's a dead fresh spawn, apparently. Are you still here? There's a better one on the second floor. And I just increased my uh, inventory capacity by another six spots. By only using up four, so actually I've only increased it by four. <laughs> Again, not so good on the math. Respirator. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see if we can find anything in the city. I just want to see if I can find some medical supplies or something in the uh, hospital. Hit up the grocery store, both of them actually.
because uh, there is a grocery store there, and then there should be another one just uh, south of here. The cereal. Cool. Which isn't going to do anything. There's, well, there's my guy now. <laughs> Apparently some of the fences don't seem all that solid. Why do I keep hearing reloading sounds?
Yeah, someone's been through here already. Which means the hospital's probably been looted too. <laughs> that guy thought he was going to get me. Okay, so we're going to head north to the airfield to see if we can find anything good. Really kind of wish that they had added bikes or something then. Just something to give you a little uh, extra boost in speed. But you can't always get what you want. <laughs> it keeps sounding like there's a zombie chasing me, but there's no, not a zombie there.
When's that invisible zombie gonna give up on me? Hopefully I can run across Clem somewhere. And if I head over this way, because there's a few buildings I can head up there. And then push my way up to somewhere else. <laughs> the town that's whose name I cannot really seem to remember ever. Well, this may not be Clen, but it's uh, fairly close to it, and it's a house that almost nobody ever shows up for. Got it damaged. Pristine, so I'll just leave that there. Deer stand spawn anything now. Gonna go with no. Supposedly they're gonna hunt, uh, start a uh, hunting mechanic in this game where there'll be like deers and things that you can hunt down and uh, get meat off of and cook up. They also would have to, uh, I don't know, make some way of getting wood, too. But until then, this is what this pretty much does rest to. Uh, bandits will start off at the coastline of their first spawn, and they'll move up north, and after uh, getting kitted up, to move up north. Uh, get all of the gear that they can, from uh, any towns or uh, military bases in the south if they spawn that way and then uh, move to uh, another military base in the north get better gear and then uh, head down south where they basically just hold people up or kill them for just no apparent reason because there's uh, no penalties at this point Oh, 
Here's the town, I think. Should be something there I can probably use. Whoa, what the? Okay, well, I have no idea what just happened right then. Uh, I think I just got slingshotted back quite a distance, so I might be doing a bit of backtracking. Or a lot of backtracking. Hold on. Alright, so, yep. Just gonna have to head that way. Yeah. Slingshot me way back. I don't know why that's happened, but it's the second time that I've had that happen to me. Uh, pretty much just a huge inconvenience at this point. But then again, it is still an alpha, so it is to be expected to have some bugs like that. Uh, I think it might have been like some kind of desync issue. Like uh, wherever I was when it stopped tracking my character location. Uh, I kept going, and then when it started retracking it, it put me back to where it was, I'm guessing. I have no idea. So, hopefully we can uh, find that road again. probably start heading north, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if it sent me far up ahead or if it sent me somewhere else. But apparently the zombies are still chasing me from underground. <laughs> So, we'll just head north. Uh, I guess we're not going to hit up the town of Glen. Because I don't know where the road is. <laughs> I don't know how far back I went. I don't know if I was, was launched forward. I have no clue. I don't have a map for the northeast. If I did, then I'd be able to see where I am, or at least where any of my friends are, if they're playing on this server. Is that the road up ahead? It's gotta be because I think I'm heading towards the top of the hill. Yep, there's the road. Well, at this point, I'm in between two towns, so it's, do I head north or do I go south? I'm just going to keep going north. You can see that there's a castle up there that I don't think they really spawn all that much good stuff, if any.
Although I could get lucky and there might be a Mosin up there. If there is, and I can get one of those and stick the scope on it. But yeah, those uh, protection boxes, if you find them, grab them because uh, they're a six slot extra to whatever you're carrying on you. And they only take up four inventory spaces. We should be coming up again, up to a barn by uh, now, somewhere in the woods, because uh, there's the town that's just south of the northeast airfield. Generally, when it comes to this area, I've played this map so much on the mod that I actually know this this uh, northeast portion of the map fairly well. That being said, I get lost everywhere else. <laughs> Fire extinguisher. Oh, Gasper. Nice. Where am I now? Seriously! Cut this out! Okay, well, happened again as, it, as uh, you might notice. So, I'm probably back where I was. I'm gonna edit out the whole running towards that location part. So, yeah, you don't have to suffer watching me run through the damn woods again. <laughs> Sheesh, at this rate I'm going to die from hunger and thirst before I even get anywhere. Eat the orange. Come on. Eat the orange. You can do it! <laughs> Or something. It says zero percent. Oh. I hope that the orange itself rehydrates you a little bit. Because, like I said, I'm gonna run out of food before I even get anywhere with the whole bungee back into the middle of nowhere bowl. Alright, well I'm back at the barn and you'll see portable gas stove. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> uh, 
when they start implementing the hunting system, that's actually going to come in handy because uh, you can actually start cooking food. So, yeah, <laughs> score for me. Oh, screw this. <laughs> well, it seems that the server is full and I cannot get back on. So I'm going to call it a day for this recording session and uh, edit up the video and put it on YouTube. Uh, I've actually already figured out a name for this one. <laughs> well, see ya. Until next time.